When I have multiple skins to rinse, I will usually rinse the darker one just to see that they are they're for sure good. If no no good, then I would I will proceed to my next step. But if they're good, then I can actually soak them with my light color altogether. So here. You can't really see that much, but if you compare with the water on the side, this half of the water is slightly greener and murkier than this side of the water. So this side is a little bit cleaner. So this yarn does have some tint that, that comes out and do tint the water slightly. But this is okay. Uh, we tested it. It's not bleeding. It's just it's just like washing your jeans. Your jeans sometimes do have a little bit of color that will come out. But when you squeeze, their color coming out right from the yarn. Uh, then in that case, either contact the the dyer, the company that you buy the yarn from, or we can try to cook them again. But this one is not too bad, so I can actually soak my lighter color with it. When you have multicolor yarn, you do want to be careful. This one doesn't have too much dyes, so it only has tiny little dyes. So it doesn't bleed uh, and it won't, the, the dyes will not travel into other part of the yarn, so that's okay. But if you do have multicolor yarn, uh, just make sure that you always use cold water. Now I can put this in as well. So we'll just leave them in the water soaking and make sure you give them some room so this is okay, it's good. So if you have yarn sticking out from the water, this is not a good soaking process. So you definitely need more water in this case. But if you have water like this, it's good. So we'll come back quickly and I'll just wait for them to soak.